Hey guys, wanted to give you a quick update on the trolling motor project. Um, disregard the handle for now. I, I actually need to shorten that, and I'll probably shorten this shaft a little bit. Um, that was just me doing some initial configuration, but um, you'll see we've got the water snake uh, trolling motor down there. And what we did is um, took everything out of the head and relocated it to a little watertight cobbled together switch box here uh, or control box um, I'll probably make a new one of these um, and clean it up a little bit I uh, this is just a kind of a proof of concept but so you can see um, powers on we've got the trolling motor uh, the main power source connected here so we've got an actual um, motor guide um, connection main power goes in into the box and um, let's see, we're on, we're on. So if I turn, and then obviously we've got reverse, forward, <clears throat> power gauge, um, or percentage, it's just percentage of power going to it. And you can see down here. So we can either go just real slow, all the way up through. All right, so that's the control box update. Um, this just all kind of tucks out of the way while we're underway. Um, now what we've got are the wires going in here um, down through the original shaft and what I did is I actually keyed the shaft so you see we've got a aluminum uh, quarter inch rod there and I keyed the, um, it's kind of hard to see in this light, but I keyed the uh, factory cassette, there you go, so that when it's pointing forward it drops in place and locks in if I want to turn it. I can turn the trolling motor any given direction. Um, I don't anticipate using this for actually turning the boat. This is going to be more um, kind of like the the need for the 360 drive, which is maybe to scoot sideways, um, a little bit of uh, extra maneuvering side to side. Maybe while I'm on my power pole, um, I can turn it on just a really low, you know, a low trickle here, and keep me oriented in a particular direction so I don't kind of swing around while I'm on my pin. Um, other than that, like I said, I may shorten, I'm probably going to shorten this up a little bit so that it's not in the way when I'm standing. So I'll probably take enough from my hand here and cut it about there so that it's nice and short. I may shorten this down a little bit. We'll see. Uh, I want to kind of get it on the water and get a feel for it and decide what I want to do with it at that point. Um, I may decide that I don't need this whole setup altogether and I can just run from that point down. Um, and get rid of all this up top. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, that's about it. Um, all that's running off of, uh, you're probably not going to be able to see it down there, but I've got um, two amped, uh, 30 amp hour uh, lithium phosphate batteries. So I've got 60 amp hours, um, which should be enough to run this thing almost all day. Got a fuse panel there, or fuse block, uh, distribution block, so all that tucks nicely. Um, the factory bucket will drop in there and cover all that up, but I've got easy access from the seat to get to my fuses if something goes wrong. Um, also, I've got, you know, my connector for the batteries, so I can pull that at any point in time. You can see there the battery shuts off. Uh, that's about it. Thanks, guys.